jour... Euh, euh, alors, tu m'as vu ici. Bonjour, Juliana. Est-ce que vous m'entendez Oui, bonjour, Juliana. Okay. Super. Bien. Très bien. Ben, écoutez, euh, bienvenue à l'Université Hassan Ier et, euh, et euh, plus spécifiquement à, à Flash, la faculté des lettres, des arts et des sciences humaines. Euh, et euh, on vous remercie de, pour votre participation à cette euh, conférence euh, autour de la relation entrepreneuriat et université. Euh, donc, euh, avant de vous céder la parole, peut-être, je vais rappeler, je pense que j'ai là, euh, votre euh, biographie. Donc, euh, euh, Dr. Juliana, elle est titulaire d'un doctorat en administration des affaires et les seniors maîtres de conférences au département d'administration de gestion de la nouvelle université bulgare, et le titulaire de deux masters en sciences de gestion de l'université de Liège, et en relation économique internationale, l'université et l'économie nationale et mondiale de Sofia, Bulgarie, et l'enseigne l'entrepreneuriat, l'innovation, la compétitivité, le développement des entreprises, la gestion stratégique et la gestion des projets, et les l'auteur de plus de 50 publications scientifiques dans deux tiers en son ouvrage « Entrepreneuriat, innovation et intelligence artificielle en Bulgarie, dynamique et gestion » a été récemment publié. Euh, oui, après le reste, c'est, je pense... Euh, alors, Juliana, euh, elle, est, elle fait partie du comité de rédaction de, du RIELF, journal délégué national pour le projet de recherche sur l'entrepreneuriat GES des universités de Berne et de saint gall en Suisse, et chercheurs associés au Centre d'études institutionnelles de l'université de Bernardo Hoggins à Santiago, au Chili, et a plus de 25 ans d'expérience professionnelle en entrepreneuriat, gestion d'entreprise, gestion de projets et euh, enseignement dans le secteur privé et l'exécutif central. Tout ça pour dire que vous êtes, Juliana, une érudite de l'entrepreneuriat un CV très riche et encore une fois euh, euh, ravi que vous soyez par, parmi nous pour euh, animer et participer à ce débat. Donc, euh, euh, Juliana, vous avez euh, 15 minutes euh, pour, euh, pour votre présentation. Merci encore. Merci, merci à vous. Est-ce que vous croyez bien ma présentation Oui, oui, on voit bien votre présentation. Ah, très bien. Euh, donc, c'est un plaisir d'être avec vous euh, aujourd'hui. Et euh, je vous félicite des fois pour euh, l'organisation du colloque qui est très actuel sur les euh, questions de, euh, de, du rôle, disons, des universités pour, euh, pour euh, stimuler, pour euh, enrichir euh, l'économie euh, nationale et internationale avec plus d'entrepreneurs et plus d'enthousiastes dans le domaine de l'entrepreneuriat, n'est-ce pas euh, well, euh, euh, J'ai décidé de, de, de présenter, euh, présenter aujourd'hui en anglais. Euh, sans doute, je peux toujours revenir vers le français euh, pour vos questions et tout le reste. So, uh, I, uh, I would like to start uh, with uh, uh, the statement of uh, uh, Professor Sabil uh, here about uh, the reform uh, of the reform and uh, the objectives uh, and philosophy of uh, those uh, reforms of our university. Then to continue with uh, the statement of uh, Professor Schrocki, because uh, I'm uh, uh, very, uh, uh, I agree uh, with this that uh, today our universities are less social institutions uh, and uh, uh, less elaborators of uh, cultur cultural code, but uh, more eager to meet uh, the job markets. And finally, I come back uh, to uh, Mr. Bojin, Bojin, 
uh, about uh, uh, the, the, uh, this uh, uh, that is very important for our students uh, to have uh, those branch uh, of uh, soft skills uh, so needed uh, for the success uh, of uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, well, I will take uh, uh, this discussion uh, about uh, the university and the entrepreneurship uh, from uh, two, uh, two uh, interrelated per uh, perspectives. Uh, the one of the learning methods uh, today and uh, from uh, other side, uh, what are the impacts uh, of uh, our learning methods uh, on uh, students' uh, entrepreneurial attitudes uh, and intention? I could not more agree with uh, Raposo and uh, Paco saying that uh, the education today should center itself much more in changing personal attitudes than in knowledge because of this significant effect on creating business and on overcoming the perceived barriers of on to entrepreneurship you know it is the the, the report of OECD in 2015 uh, when uh, Lacus proposed as uh, three groups uh, uh, of uh, learning methods uh, of uh, entrepreneurship uh, education. Uh, he said uh, that uh, uh, first of all it is about entrepreneurship, then it is, about, uh, it is for entrepreneurship and then through entrepreneurship. Uh, exactly um, the theory is uh, is um, uh, uh, more presented uh, in uh, the first uh, method uh, about entrepreneurship, uh, uh, taking us uh, into or our students uh, into the general understanding of the phenomenon of uh, entrepreneurship, uh, and directing our students. Uh, uh, attention uh, to entrepreneurship uh, as a choice. The second uh, group of uh, learning methods uh, how to teach entrepreneurship uh, for entrepreneurship uh, is about encouraging our students uh, to be entrepreneurs uh, by uh, more case studies, uh, business uh, uh, studies, uh, uh, more practices um, um, uh, in uh, our uh, classes. Uh, and on third um, uh, um, position, we find true entrepreneurship that is moving the entrepreneurship uh, education uh, forward, uh, moving in, aiming at training our future entrepreneurs uh, uh, high by more experimental modes. Here, on this basis, we could uh, discuss uh, the emerging digital technologies, uh, uh, how they are used in the entrepreneurial uh, education, because uh, today we have no more choice uh, but to follow those uh, trends, to follow uh, these uh, uh, digital uh, technologies uh, and to use them uh, intensively in our um, everyday uh, education uh, uh, education uh, uh, styles. Um, here I will mention, for example, the massive open uh, online courses, uh, uh, the so-called MOOC, the virtual and remote uh, laboratories, uh, uh, the rapid prototyping uh, using the 3D printing, the social networking, and of course uh, uh, the methods like uh, flipped uh, classroom or game and gamification. Of course, uh, I would like also add here uh, the tendency uh, to uh, for learning analytics, uh, the GTP, uh, the chat G, uh, GPT and uh, uh, um, artificial intelligence uh, and all that, those uh, data-driven dynamics uh, today. Uh, 
uh, and uh, uh, to add uh, the notion uh, of uh, entrepreneurial uh, university because uh, in this entrepreneurial university uh, we, uh, we, we try to uh, take our researches to the business. We try to customize our research um, um, uh, challenges and to propose them to the market. How much we are there on this path to innovative entrepreneurial university? Let's say that uh, uh, those um, um, the uh, latest uh, trends uh, about uh, serious games, MOOCs, and social media has uh, have their pros and, of course, uh, their cons. Uh, for example, if we are talking about the social media, we should say that learning platforms and face-to-face -face still is the main method are the main methods uh, for instruction and active learning in entrepreneurial education. However, they are, um, they are useful for us before and after uh, on um, online uh, courses. Uh, what about the MOOCs? Uh, those uh, digital platforms are facilitating our accessibility of uh, entrepreneurship education because of uh, uh, they are flexibility in time and distance, but uh, we lack uh, f to f face to face uh, interaction and the question of uh, humanity here is uh, uh, is uh, uh, advanced. What about the serious games? Uh, well, we could say that uh, the serious games are making entrepreneurship uh, education more interesting and attractive uh, than the courses without them uh, because uh, they are based on uh, different scenarios uh, and they are uh, helping us to uh, learn our students uh, more easily about entrepreneurial motivation, skills uh, and uh, knowledges. We tried um, in, uh, uh, here in Bulgaria, in my university and uh, in another university, mine is a private university, but also in a public university here in Sofia, the Economic uh, University, uh, to find different pieces uh, of um, uh, those uh, trends uh, um, in our methods, learning methods, uh, and uh, we find that uh, we are not uh, very different uh, with uh, my colleagues uh, in those methods. Uh, we are inviting the business uh, in our classes. Uh, we are um, uh, inviting uh, investors. Uh, we are uh, trying to, um, uh, to put uh, on, uh, uh, on the table the pitching and the video pitching and um, we are using different quiz and so on. Uh, so we are more or less uh, uh, in parallel with uh, uh, all those uh, emerging tendencies. Uh, however, it is uh, uh, sure not, uh, not enough. Uh, here we have uh, opportunities, but uh, here we have also limitation. For example, uh, for example um, in the opportunities uh, we all agree that uh, we have um, very uh, many diversity of uh, technologies and tools to use. Um, they are available. We are in uh, times uh, of uh, digital natives, uh, um, students, uh, enterprises, uh, but also professors and teachers. Uh, about the limitation, we could uh, say that uh, uh, one limitation is the readiness to learn and adapt quickly, and it is both uh, uh, both uh, um, uh, uh, sure for for professors and for students, uh, and it is more easily to procrastinate uh, uh, in our days. So, for from the part of uh, opportunities. Uh, Yes, it is possible to learn any time, everywhere, and to optimize our time. But also, 
we need uh, additional investments uh, uh, like uh, prepaid subscriptions uh, to use those platforms. We have problems with uh, the G digital gap uh, and inclusiveness. Uh, we need it uh, more in uh, those um, times. How? What, what are the rooms uh, to do better? I uh, would like to to uh, to advance here some uh, some suggestions. Uh, maybe uh, it is not valid only for us, but uh, for um, uh, for you, uh, dear colleagues. Uh, I would say that uh, at the stage of about entrepreneurship uh, learning methods, uh, we need more digitalization. Yes. I, uh, we think that uh, MOOCs will help us uh, uh, to introduce more knowledge uh, and uh, uh, to, to test the knowledge of uh, our students. But uh, also we need uh, uh, more face-to-face -face learning methods on the other two uh, stage for entrepreneurship and uh, through entrepreneurship. Uh, of course, we need to to, be, to become, because it is the tendency, a more entrepreneurial uh, university, but uh, excellence uh, is uh, about uh, the humanity um, cen uh, center, I, I should uh, uh, say. Uh, so, on the other hand, uh, we, um, uh, we were curious about uh, the impact of uh, entrepreneurship uh, education in our university. So we uh, became uh, a part of the global university entrepreneurial spirit of uh, students uh, survey. And uh, uh, we, uh, um, uh, we um, uh, uh, have been one of those uh, 58 countries uh, um, uh, studying the uh, entrepreneurial uh, uh, intentions uh, and activities of uh, our students. Uh, I don't know uh, if you know this uh, global study, but um, uh, I, I would like just to say that uh, it is coordinated by the University of Bern and University of St. Galen. And for first time, Bulgaria is part of uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, network uh, of uh, uh, the study. Uh, we did uh, the, um, uh, the study in mid uh, to 2021, and we studied uh, the intentions, the nation uh, entrepreneurship, uh, the growth and performance of uh, new ventures, uh, and the family firm uh, succession, uh, uh, with all the influencing factors, such as uh, uh, factors uh, that are on individual level, uh, the family level, the university level, the contextual level, and of course, uh, in relation with uh, the COVID uh, crisis. Um, this is the demographic uh, of uh, our uh, study. We uh, here have uh, not only our university, but uh, uh, before us, uh, it is the biggest university in Bulgaria, the University of uh, Sofia presented also the Economic University and other universities. Our ambition this year is to, to have all the university in Bulgaria. Let's see. Um, uh, almost 80% of the respondent uh, students uh, has been on the back level uh, here. Um, uh, it is interesting to see that uh, we had uh, uh, a response uh, from different coins of uh, different parts of uh, the country, uh, from Bulgaria, but uh, also from, uh, from abroad, as uh, at this time we uh, had our, um, our education mostly uh, online, uh, virtually. What is interesting is to know that uh, our students uh, are um, satisfied uh, with their lives, uh, big percent of them are very satisfied, so maybe the entrepreneurship uh, will be more about uh, the opportunity and not uh, so much about uh, the necessity. In Bulgaria, 
we are slightly uh, slightly more uh, the the share of um, uh, the students uh, that uh, are saying that uh, they will become entrepreneur entrepreneurs uh, directly after their uh, university um, termination uh, is almost 30 percent you see the uh, world average is 18 percent so um, versus uh, 44 percent five year later so, uh, the average for the world is uh, 20 two percent here are the data about uh, the choices uh, of uh, our students so in bulgaria our students are more oriented uh, and more eager to to become entrepreneur entrepreneurs uh, dear, directly excuse me after dear, uh, the, yeah. dear uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, four minutes left Okay. Quatre, quatre minutes, okay. Vous plaît. Merci. okay, merci. So, uh, uh, if we compare the results uh, with uh, other countries, uh, we will see that uh, from uh, the, um, the, the United, uh, the, from uh, European Union, uh, Bulgaria is uh, first uh, to, um, uh, to, to, to want, to wish to, um, uh, to, to become um, entrepreneurial. Uh, which is uh, interesting. Uh, we have uh, more students uh, ready to become uh, entrepreneurial. Well, um, uh, we have um, uh, different, uh, uh, many, many, uh, many uh, uh, topics and issues uh, to, to uh, share. But uh, I, uh, uh, I think that. Uh, uh, one of them uh, is about uh, the drivers uh, and how much our universities are inspiring uh, our students, uh, how much uh, the university is encouraging uh, our students uh, to, to do so. Um, and uh, here you could see that uh, um, most of uh, our students are thinking that uh, the atmosphere in the university are inspiring them and uh, relatively high overall satisfaction based on the university's uh, choice uh, is there. If we take uh, the cross, we make the cross referencing of all positive responses responses, we will find that more than 50% uh, um, of our students are satisfied by all of the three future features, the university atmosphere, the favorite, uh, the favorable uh, climate and encouragement uh, for entrepreneurship. Uh, well, um, what about uh, um, some uh, conclusions uh, from uh, all this um, uh, study and the impact uh, of uh, our entrepreneurial education on our students? Uh, uh, we should mention that uh, uh, that um, uh, being an uh, entrepreneur uh, does not have uh, to be uh, forever, but uh, our students need to find, to consider the right moment uh, and momentum to become uh, entrepreneurs because uh, every one of those uh, moments uh, are uh, linked with uh, advantages and disadvantages. Uh, we are in the logic, uh, that is the logic uh, for, uh, for, for, for the, uh, all the countries, uh, first, the students are wishing to become employees and then uh, they, uh, they think that we we'll have the force, uh, to, uh, the courage to become uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, it is important to know the local entrepreneurial ecosystem and be inspired by the role models uh, and meet mentors uh, and business uh, angels. For the university, be aware that entrepreneurship has um, existed for centuries uh, and has thus uh, to be seen also in this uh, uh, general long-term context. Uh, 
and uh, seek to provide uh, an objective view on what it means to become an entrepreneur with all the advantage, disadvantage. Uh, it will be very useful for our students and actively promote uh, entrepreneurial ecosystems with both public and private uh, players. Uh, and uh, for us as uh, entrepreneurship uh, scholars, uh, maybe to contextualize uh, uh, our research uh, by looking at institutional, cultural and economic uh, boundary conditions uh, the, to go for non-traditional topics uh, also uh, that also look uh, at uh, the potential downside of uh, becoming an entrepreneurship and uh, yes of course uh, the, the, to, to study more the determinants and uh, the impact of the different learning methods thank you very much for your patience Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, euh, professeur Juliana. Merci euh, d'avoir pris de votre temps pour nous joindre depuis euh, la Bulgarie. À... Merci pour votre intervention euh, qui euh, s'est articulée principalement sur... Euh, le digital dans l'enseignement de l'entrepreneuriat. Alors, euh, à la zone, je euh, comprends mieux l'anglais que moi est parti. Je voulais, je voulais... Je voulais quelque chose pour peut-être restituer euh, des choses. Razan, reviens. Et donc, je disais que l'intervention de Juliana s'articulait à insister beaucoup sur le. Le, le digital dans l'enseignement du, 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 de, de l'entrepreneuriat. Elle a parlé aussi des, de l'importance des entreprises dans l'apprentissage d'entrepreneuriat. Elle a rappelé un certain nombre d'opportunités et de limites euh, pour le digital euh, dans l'enseignement de l'entrepreneuriat. Et puis, il nous a présenté à la fin. Euh, un peu euh, comment l'enseignement de l'entrepreneuriat se déroule au sein de leur université. Je n'ai peut-être pas tout retenu, euh, peut-être à l'occasion de, à la, à la fin de toutes les interventions, nous allons ouvrir un peu le débat euh, aux questions-réponses, et ce sera l'occasion éventuellement pour euh, revenir euh, sur des choses que Juliana a rappelées dans son intervention. Si, euh, si y a des questions par rapport à son intervention. Euh, donc, sans trop tarder, euh, je vais passer la parole à la dernière intervenante de ce panel, de cette euh, première, enfin, de cette, euh, de cette plénière, qui est Dr. Mene Khan, euh, qui nous rejoint de la Mauritanie, de l'Ukraine. Euh, de, euh, et avant de, de, de céder la parole à, à, à Madame Kahn, je, je rappelle sa biographie, elle est, est professeure des universités, spécialiste des questions d'autonomisation économique des femmes, des jeunes et des personnes vivant avec handicap. Elle est auteure de plusieurs articles scientifiques et de trois ouvrages portant sur la problématique de l'entrepreneuriat féminin le déterminant de l'entrepreneuriat des jeunes en Mauritanie et au Sénégal et sur l'entrepreneuriat féminin en Afrique. Dr Kahn est ancienne ministre et actuellement coordinatrice du groupe de recherche pour l'entrepreneuriat en Afrique. Elle travaille aussi dans le domaine de la consultance et de la formation et anime des conférences à travers le monde. Bienvenue Madame la Ministre. Et, euh, elle, 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 el